The Formula One circus has made its way to the southern coast of Portugal this week and it's preparing for what I expect to be a terrific race here in Portimao. So Portimao features 15 turns over the course of its 2.9 mile length. Nine are right-handers, six are to the left. And this is a track with a lot of uphill action, which only accentuates the importance of getting those exits right, especially at turn four, where a good line can present opportunities to pass on the way into turn five. Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. Can I get your take on Haas? There have been some tweaks to the power unit regulations, of course, and I have to say it doesn't seem, so far at least, that they've been able to keep up. It doesn't look promising for them so far. And if the new regs have hit them as hard as we think, well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Lando Norris and Ricardo, Leclerc, Sainz, Joe and Lance Stroll, Mazepin, the Tiger, Sebastian Vettel and Mick Schumacher, Ocon, Gasly, Antonio Giovinazzi and George Russell, Latifi, Giotto, Eilert and Yuki Tsunoda. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. second of the car ahead and in the 
DRSO. so far. a few left.
race over, take care of the car on the way in. And that's it then for the Portuguese Grand Prix. And what a sensational victory they've managed to pull off here. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. A result that will make Sergio Perez happy as he pushes his championship lead out even further. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to the Tiger. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. Let's move on to the constructors. Red Bull pulled further ahead in the standings. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Morning, boss. This week's income from the sponsors is cleared and we're making good profit against our running costs. Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. OK, now this is an interesting one. The department wants me to pass on their thanks for helping out. Thanks so much for the invitation to your HQ. Let's have a little chat about the team's performance this season. You spoke a while back of a significant investment in your chassis department. Has this investment given your team the push it needs to make substantial gains this weekend? A recent survey found that your staff have the highest employee satisfaction of all the F1 teams. That's quite the accolade. In your opinion, what makes you the best team to work for in Formula One? Sources inside your team have described the environment as a pressure cooker, with growing concerns about how much pressure your staff are under to hit deadlines. Care to comment?
We managed to catch up recently at the Formula One charity gala. Are these kinds of philanthropic events something you'd like to see more teams participate in? According to your latest quarterly report, your team is very cash rich. Now, is that a safety net or are you saving for something expensive? It's been wonderful to spend some time with you. Best of luck out on track.